The odds are, as a man, you've been cheated on at least once in your lifetime. Okay? At least once. Especially for the fact that men over, over the space of a lifetime would have probably about six or eight uh, girlfriends over the span of a lifetime. And at least one of them, at least one, maybe two, but at least one would have cheated on you at some point in time. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Another beautiful day out here, giving God praise every single time. I did make a promise uh, a little while ago, a few videos ago, that I would make a video answering the question and also asking the question, why do women cheat? I made the one, uh, why do men cheat? Now it's, why do women cheat? And I've heard quite a few people asking you know, for me to do that video because they want to know, uh, you know, really, why do women cheat? We know men cheat for all sorts of reasons, but it's kind of different with women. It, it, let me let me get into the video, all right? Let me get into the video and you will see what I'm talking about. I also do want you to live your best life by applying scripture to your relationships. Like I always say, it's very important to live by the word of God. I've got a passage of scripture to read for you. I'm going to try to tie it in with this topic. And I'm going to try to explain it. Hosea 1 verse 2. Hosea 1 verse 2. And it reads like this. It says, When the Lord began to speak by Hosea, the Lord said to Hosea, Go take your, yourself a wife of harlotry and children of harlotry. For the land has committed great harlotry by departing from the Lord. Uh, so we see that God was, God wanted to send a message to Israel that they were acting like harlots. They departed from him by serving other gods. And he made the point by asking the prophet Hosea to marry a well-known harlot by the name of Goma, showing Israel that he is still married to them even though they went out and uh, in, in, in essence slept with other gods, worshipped other gods and so they were playing the harlot and wanted them to know that now what does that have to do with why do women cheat because I'm saying people do things for many different reasons and Goma was a known prostitute why did she do that don't know and even though the prophet was married to her, she still went and slept with other men. And so women, I believe they cheat for different reasons than men. Some might be the same, but certainly not all of it. All right. So, and as a man, if you knew that a woman would definitely cheat on you, would you still marry her? Now, most guys would say absolutely not, while others would say, maybe I'll give her a chance. Most guys would not do that, though. All right? So, unless you have the capacity to forgive, like I said, people do things for strange reasons, you know, but most guys, if they knew they were married to a woman that was sleeping around, they would call it quits. Like I said, some would forgive, and try to patch it up, try to mend it and move on, while many guys would feel like, you know what, I'm not sharing, and that's what you've been doing, sleeping around, and I call it quits. But the odds are, as a man though, fellas, the odds are as a man you've been cheated on at least once in your lifetime. Okay? At least once, especially for the fact that men over, over the space of a lifetime would have probably about six or eight uh, girlfriends over the span of a lifetime. And at least one of them, at least one, maybe two, but at least one would have cheated on you at some point in time. Now, ladies, you may or may not have cheated, probably wouldn't admit to have cheated on your husband or your boyfriend at least once in your life. 
And I'm not saying all women cheat. Not like, not like he said about men that all men cheat, which they don't. And I'm, I'm not going to say that all women cheat. But what I, I have found out is that it is said that women cheat just as much as men do. Now that's what some people believe. I know that I read a statistic that says that men are forty times more um, inclined to cheat, forty times more. But at the same time, the other people are saying, well, women are just as inclined to cheat as men are. The only difference with the women is that they don't get caught. And some women will joke about it and say, because you guys don't know what to do, how to do it. You know, but but yeah, it is said that women will cheat just as much and will not get caught because women somehow, they're more crafty in the way they go about doing what they do. So back to the question now, why do women cheat? And I'll say this one thing and you'll be like, huh, really? Women cheat because of feelings. Women cheat because of feelings, their feelings. They cheat because of their feelings. And you'll be like, what does that mean? Watch this. Women cheat because of a desire or, or women cheat because they want to feel desired. If they don't feel that they are being desired, that's one of the reasons why they cheat. A feeling. Undesired. They feel like the person that they're with do not desire them. They're not feeling that they are desired by that person. And that is one of the reasons why a woman would cheat. A woman would also cheat because she's not feeling loved. See, I told you, feelings. It's all about feelings. And you know, the funny thing about it, it may not be true. What they feel may or may not be true. It's just how they feel. Whether or not it's a fact, whether or not it's true is a different case. But they don't feel desired. That's one. And that will cause them to cheat. They don't feel loved. That's two. That will cause them to cheat. Again, it's all about how they feel about that given situation, about that given person, whether or not they feel that the person desires them, whether they feel like he loves them. Those are the factors. Okay. Another feeling that women would have is that they don't feel like they are important. That's another one. They don't feel important to that person and they want to feel important. They want to feel loved. They want to feel desired. And those are some of the factors that will cause them to cheat. All right, you get my drift. Another feeling that they may have is that they don't feel valuable. That person does not make them feel like they're valued. And so they're going to find someone that makes them feel valued, makes them feel loved, and on and on. I told you, all about a feeling is how they feel. Another feeling which is legitimate for all women as far as I'm concerned, they want to feel safe. And when they don't feel safe with the person that they're with, it's a problem. They want to feel safe. They want the person that they're with to make them feel safe. And I can't fault them for that. Feeling safe. Feeling like you're secure with that person. That that person will do anything to protect you. Provide for you everything. And so, yeah. Women will cheat. Find somebody who makes them feel safe. Make them feel like they can confide in them. They can trust them. And they could... Basically, lay back in their arms and know that they're going to be okay. Wanting to feel safe. Another thing is that a woman wants to feel needed. She wants to know that you need her. Not just want her, but you need her. That she fulfills a role in your life. There's something about her that you need her to feel complete. And to be able to accomplish whatever it is that God has placed you here to accomplish. As far as she wants to, well, as far as she's concerned, let me put it that way, is that she's needed. She's a helpmate. She's needed 
in the whole process to fulfill you, just like she feels like you fulfills her. So it's a whole, you know, it's a hand in hand thing. You fulfill her, she fulfills you. And that's it. So when they feel unfulfilled, it's time to go. It's time to go. And a lot of women don't cheat for sex. Sex comes as a byproduct of that other person meeting that need. But they don't cheat for sex. Very few women cheat for sex. Because sometimes, too, that's a part of it. The sex is not good. They're not being fulfilled in the bedroom. And they're going to try to find someone that can fulfill them in the bedroom that can do the job they want done. There you go. So you see, uh, feeling desired, feeling loved, feeling important, feeling valuable, feeling safe, feeling needed, feeling unfulfilled are some of the things, or some of the reasons why a woman would cheat. And if she feels positive about all these things that I just mentioned, with the person that she's with, she won't cheat. She won't go. She won't go anywhere. So the man that she's with, if he's capable of fulfilling those needs, she's safe, and he's safe. But if not, he's gonna have problems. They're gonna have problems because more likely than not. She's going to want to get out of the relationship. And that is the reason why, you know, 80%, 80 to 90% of the women file for divorce. These are some of the reasons right here. You know, unfulfilled, not feeling loved, not feeling desired. Uh, all of that stuff are the reasons why women get out. They, The women of today are not like the women of yesterday. Meaning the modern woman is not like the traditional woman. They won't stick around and make it work. They are going to get up and go because they figure the grass is greener on the other side. Like I said to somebody the other day, the grass is greener on the other side. The only problem is that's a septic tank they're looking at over there. You know, it looks greener. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It looks greener. Uh, but if you check it out, <laughs> it's a septic tank. And I'm not going to explain that any more than how I've just said it. OK, but yeah. So the man has to tick all the boxes to secure his relationship and make it cheat proof if there's such a thing. All the above boxes, making her fulfilled, making her feel loved, making her feel desired, uh, making her feel like she's important, uh, you name it, all of that. He has to tick all them boxes. If he don't, <laughs> I'm sorry for him, you know, but more than likely she is going to leave or she's gonna cheat until he finds out or until she says, listen, She's going to fess up and say, listen, man, I've been cheating. All right, I can't do this no more. I got to go. You know? And that's the way it is. So these, I believe, are the reasons why women cheat. If you agree, leave me a comment. If you don't agree, still leave me a comment. I want to know how you feel about this. You see, this is way much shorter than uh, the video I did on why men cheat. Okay? But some of them are similar. You know? Feeling unfulfilled. Feeling like, you know, you're not needed. Feeling undesired. All that stuff. And these are the reasons why. And I'm not saying that cheating is right because cheating is wrong. And if you want to get out of a relationship, you got to be a woman or man enough to say so. And uh, do the right thing. And get out. And stop trying to hurt the other person by cheating. Because that's what it does. It really hurts the other person. It belittles them. And making them feel like trash. Like, uh, you know, like you're just stepping all over them. And so, yeah, but again, leave me a comment. Leave me, uh, if you like this video, uh, leave your like and uh, share the video with friends and family. All right. Like I said, in the earlies, I want you to live your best life by applying scripture to your relationships. Now, do me a favor and please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And click the bell icon so that you will not miss any new videos when they're posted. All right. And the more you like the videos, the more YouTube will show them to more people. And like I said, leave your comments. My name is William Nelson Ryan, and I will see you in my next video. God bless you.